Here comes Thomas Braxton, the Rebel Buddhist. And I try not to play favorites here at the commentary table, but perhaps my favorite reality wrestling star to watch inside the squared circle. Not only did she have great technical ability, but she is a cerebral competitor. She thinks all these matches through. She visualizes them before they happen. And that is why more often than not, Ramos Braxton gets a victory. There's a reason she is a former Diamonds Division champion in her own right. And quite frankly, Brad, you talk about her being this meticulous technician inside the ring. I, I have never seen anybody make a turn as much as Promise Braxton did after her victory over Alex Gracia. Ever since then, she has been almost unstoppable. With one thing on her mind, the Reality Wrestling Diamonds Championship. Her opponent from Houston, Texas. She is the Renaissance Woman. If we had a Mount Rushmore of Diamonds Division competitors, you have to put her, her being high on, on the George Washington spot. There has not been a diamond that has meant more to this division than the Renaissance woman. I think if we have that Mount Rushmore, I think we have to put her on there twice, don't you think? You know what? She might take Theodore Roosevelt's spot too. No one can figure out why he's there anyway. Well, here comes Hyan, a former three-time Diamonds Division champion, and she could become the first to be four-time champion here tonight, especially in this triple threat match, because the last time we saw her here was actually in a triple threat match, Diamonds Championship match as well, Brad. Absolutely. Big opportunity at the George R. Brown. And their opponent, she hails from the throne room of House Rose. She is the reigning, defending Diamonds Champion, Rachel Rose. The queen of house rolls, Kirby, carry on. You better be bending the knee. I've started to believe in that, Brad. I am bending the knee right well, now. Good. good, as am I. Rachel Rose, when you want to talk about what a championship can do for you as an in-ring competitor, Rachel Rose is the perfect example. She has... Uh, won that Diamonds Division Championship and had a level up in her confidence and ability inside the squared circle. She has turned away many competitors, many contenders, if you will, here at the Reality of Wrestling ever since the Summer of Champions where she won that belt. But now she is going to be in the ring against two of the toughest competitors that you can bring here in the Reality of Wrestling. And Hyan and Thomas Braxton are going to pull no punches and the Queen could very well be in trouble here tonight. Of course, this is a triple threat match for the Rowdy Wrestling Diamonds Division Championship. Triple threat matches in the row are one fall to a finish. There are no disqualifications. There must be a solidified winner in a championship match. You heard Booker T allude to it earlier. Also, it is a requirement under Rowdy Wrestling contracts that the title matches must exceed at least five minutes, and there needs to be a winner by pinfall or submission. Now the thing that always excites me the most about triple threat matches here, Brad, is that the champion does not have to be pinned in order to lose the championship. So Hyon could pin uh, Promise, Promise could pin Hyon, and then Rachel Rose will be out of a championship here tonight. That is a scenario that we could see play out, the Renaissance woman extending a hand. Oh, wow. Rena uh, Hyon getting pushed to the side by Promise Branks, and of course, Rachel Rose and Promise have a lot of problems with one another. Oh! But you do not turn your back to the Renaissance woman and disrespect her like that. Absolutely not. Hi Yun, former Rihanna Wrestling Diamonds champion, as is promised. Braxton, Rachel Rose in her first reign as the champion. Cover, one, two. Oh my gosh! A vicious super kick there from the champion. Well, I think Hyun is singing all I want for Christmas is my two front teeth after that one. Oh! And Promise Braxton going up and over to the outside. 
Now they've made this a one-on-one -on -one competition inside the squared circle. Rachel Rose, very smart to do that because you alluded to it earlier. She does not have to be involved in the deciding fall. So she wants to make sure at any moment she is in control of the dynamics in this match. She wants to take that 33% chance of retaining mm -hmm. and 66% chance of losing <laughs> Absolutely. to 50-50. And now, lest we forget here, Brad, Rachel Rose won her championship in a triple threat match as well. So you know that this is fresh in her mind, that that's how she won the championship, and it could very well be how she loses the championship. Right, and she's thinking through all aspects of, of this match right now, trying to take oh. out Thomas Braxton. Thomas Promis Braxton hitting her with a forearm. Rachel Rose has been known to play money ball in certain aspects. Ooh. Going against the guardrail there. Let's watch out for the youngins. That's why you need to make sure you remain in your seat at all times. Promise Braxton lifting up Rachel Rose, oh, just wow. putting up her against the guardrail here. Ooh. And Rachel Rose falling into the crowd. And now she is a non-factor. She is a non-factor in this match. She took a tumble to the outside. Promise Braxton, oh. very smart to do that because now it is just her and Hyun. We've seen this matchup before. As now Hyun just driving the knees there to the face there, Brad. This is why she is the Renaissance woman. This is why she is one of the cornerstones here at the Reality of Wrestling. I mean, Hyun, if we're going to put it in baseball terms, we're really close to, hold on here, one. Kick out, we're really close to Minute Maid Park, home of the ALCS champion, Houston Astros. And Hyun is a five-tool player. She has all. She can hit, she can bat, she can feel, she can run, she can steal. She can do all the things that you need to do. Right now, ooh, snap suplex from Promise Braxton. And another going for a cover here. One, two, and a kick out from high on. So right now, Kirby, who do you think is having the advantage right now? I believe 100% it is Promise Braxton. She eliminated the champion, and now she is just taking it to Hyun right now, and Hyun is trying to have answers, but any time that Hyun gets in the driver's seat, Promise Braxton ends up coming right back. I think Promise Braxton could very well walk away the champion right now. And now look at this, Hyun just driving Promise. Oh, there it is. Once again, Promise Braxton turning it back around, as I mentioned. As soon as Hyun gets into driver's seat, Promise Braxton just ends up coming right back. And still, no sign of the champion. No sign of the champion. Promise Braxton again. Oh! Going right into the cover once again. One, two. Oh, that was very close. We almost had a new champion there, Brad. Right now, front, front face lock there from Thomas Braxton, front guillotine, trying to slow down the oxygen production of one high on the Renaissance woman. High on recently coming back to the United States after a incredible. Uh, run and tour over there in the UK, performing in different cities every single night. Uh, you're working with some great wrestling uh, superstars of, you know, worldly wrestling superstars, including Will Allspray. Absolutely, and whenever, you know, we throw around the, the term uh, world traveled for a lot of competitors here in the reality of wrestling, but Hyun honestly travels all over the world and tries to learn as much as she can, more so than probably anyone I've ever seen, and every time she comes back, she is more dangerous than before. When she returned from Japan, that's when we started knowing her as the Renaissance woman, and that is when she went on her three-time Diamonds Division you know, championship reigns. So now, maybe a fourth one could be in the books right now. And that would be a history-making win for Hyun and really solidify her spot, maybe in all four spots on that Mount Rushmore. One and for there, each title reign. One for each title reign if she's able to make it happen. Right now she's having to do double battle as Rachel Rose, the champion, finds herself back inside the picture here. This is a triple threat match for the Reality Wrestling Diamond Division Championship here on night one of Reality Wrestling's Christmas Chaos oh. from the George R. Brown Convention Center. The first time, oh, Christmas Chaos cover here. One, two, and a kick out. Barely, though, there by Promise Braxton. This is the first time.
that Reality Wrestling has put on a two-day Christmas chaos from two different locations, starting off night one at the GRB. And I hope that we keep doing this, Brad, because honestly, as I said earlier, the energy in here is palpable. Oh! Spear! Spear by Rachel Rose! The champion just speared Hyun, who had promised Braxton on her shoulders, looking for a pin. Cover one, two, can she retain in a kick out? Now she's gonna go right over to Hyun. One, two, and Kion kicks out at two and a half. I think that was a mistake on Rachel Rose's part. I think she should have gone after Hyun first, because that is who she speared. But now, the champion is going right back on the attack as Hyun starting to retreat. And here we go, Rachel Rose in the driver's seat. This is where she is most dangerous. Right now, Rachel Rose, oh, doing some feng shui in the way of the Diamonds competitors she's against, moving them all around, oh. and look at that, elevated knees, in the knee. To both competitors, and now the hesitation uh, drop kick in the that. corner. Love when she does that expertly executed cover. One, two, and it's, wow. Big kick out from Promise Braxton. That could have been all right there. It could have been, and then Rachel Rose would have walked right into night two. Uh, will she even be defending the title tomorrow? Well, I would, I would assume that, you know, if she is victorious here this evening, there's no reason for her to defend again. These are the two top oh. contenders. Now, I promise Braxton here. Look at this. Oh, oh, oh. Cover. Going for a cover. One, two, and we have a new champion. Wow. High on. Able to get there at the last split second. Promise Braxton knows that she was right there and could have won the championship. Rachel Rose to the outside. Oh, wait a minute. Looking here for to use those knees. Oh, oh, good God. And now here she goes. No, wait. Is she looking for the beauty sleeve? She's got to lift her up for a power bomb. Promise Braxton, though. Oh! I think she countered it there, Brad. I think she did. Promise Braxton. Looks like she may have countered it. Going for a slow cover. One, two, three. No! No! Hyun returns the favor with a split second kick out. I honestly thought we had a new champion there, but as you said, just a split second. That's all it takes. It was not a three count, and now Promise Braxton. She gets caught and gets hung up on the rope. What's going to happen here? Oh, Rachel Rose on the outside. She returned the favor with that slap from earlier, as now both women are on the outside. High on. And Rachel Rose both trying to fight for positioning here. As promised, Braxton now grabs the leg. Oh no, oh no, Brad. Oh no, oh. she's got her for a power bomb. Oh, and power bombs are against the turnbuckle post. That was quite the thud from the spine of the Queen of House Rose, the current Diamonds champion. And now that may have eliminated the champion from the equation. As now we've got Promise Braxton and Hyon inside the ring. <clears throat> and these two are the tough, two of the toughest competitors in the entire Diamonds division, Brad. And they're just going at it Ooh. right here in front of us. This is night one of Christmas Chaos. And will one of these women become the new Diamonds Division champion? Oh! oh. Promise Braxton just took out Isaac Bouillon inadvertently. And now it's a straight out fight. It's a brawl between these two women. Wait a minute. Security, what is going on here? Security pulling these two women off. Official word, that means that Rachel Rose has retained her championship. By hook or by crook, every single night, Rachel Rose keeps walking away with that championship, and it looks like she's gonna be walking away from Christmas Chaos once again, as still the Diamonds Division champion. She doesn't look like much of a champion right now, but 
Those are the rules. That's how it goes down. A definitive winner was not found. Therefore, still your champion, Rachel Rose. In this fashion, oh. Ayan runs around the corner trying to hit the Promise Braxton. Promise Braxton trying to do the save as she breaks free. And now she's trying to go after Hyon, but security just keeping them completely oh. apart right now.